<clears throat> Hi everyone, it's me, good old mighty Mike McGee. A little sniffly, because that, that right there, is COVID. <laughs> Ooh, yay. Um, yeah, so I got, uh, well, according to this guy right here, I have COVID. Uh, I just walked to my clinic. I walked to my clinic. I walk everywhere, usually. Uh, but this time I walked uh, just primarily because I just needed to get the hell out of my house. Um, using the back door, uh, my housemates uh, are being really good about masking up in the common areas. I have the whole back of the house to myself as it is, so there's really no chance of... Uh... See, that's Swiss cheese brain. Um, that's one thing I've noticed with COVID, is that it's... Uh, it's got me forgetting what I was about to say. My short-term memory is shot. Um, but the walk through uh, the neighborhood to my clinic was lovely. It was so lovely. The jacaranda is in bloom. Oh, and it's all falling from the trees, so everything's all just all colorful on the ground. Um, I feel surprisingly decent today. This is day two of COVID. Yesterday was the worst. Um, I just slept. That's all I could do. Uh, and now sleeping feels really foreign to me. The idea, I don't, I have no desire to sleep right now. I want to do stuff. I want to get stuff done, have a, a burst of energy. Even after a two-mile walk to go get a PCR test uh, to confirm that this is COVID. But knowing what I know, uh, a number of friends also got COVID this weekend, and we were all together. So I'm assuming that it was, uh, it was a bit of a, uh, a bit of an event and that uh, I'm not the only one to get it, um, and, and they're not the only ones to get it. I'm very curious as to who, who else got COVID this weekend in downtown San Jose. Um, it's good to get that information out there, too, so that we can um, forewarn folks, you know, that it is, uh, this is a hotbed of viral activity, you know. Um, otherwise, uh, I feel pretty good right now. And uh, I... Uh, I'm just craving broth, veggie broth, uh, and um, my dear, dear friend Rachel uh, gave me, uh, she sent me, door dashed me some seafood pho from my favorite spot, pho Bel Air. Go pho Bel Air. Yes, they're so good. Um, so thank you, Rachel Warner, for that delightful gift of pho. Um, I'm not too congested. I just have like a constant slight runny nose. Um, no cough unless I like, unless I notice there's a rattle in my chest and I try to clear it, then that turns into a cough. Um, mild headache at all times, um, but not unbearable. Uh, I imagine tomorrow I'll probably feel worse. I think today is the honeymoon phase and uh, I'll probably feel a little worse tomorrow, but. I'll check in tomorrow as well. Um, just sanitizing. Anytime I go out into the kitchen, I usually sanitize my hands and stuff. Wear a mask in, indoors. Um, I usually have this guy on a lanyard around my neck, so that way if I'm stepping out, I can just pop this guy on real quick and go do my thing. Um, yeah. Uh, I Oh, God. Um, last night, though, Sleeping was a chore. I could not get warm enough. I was freezing last night. I was under the covers shivering. I'd wake up just shivering, like full body tremors. Um, it was just horrible, so uncomfortable. Um, and that made me super tense this morning. Like, like my whole body just ached, I think, from the shivering. Um, and then, uh, yeah, um, my lower left, lower back is sore. Um, I noticed on the walk there and back, like that got really tight very quickly. Um, I don't know what that is. It could just be from sitting in chairs for the last three or four days and not really moving around. Uh, but it felt so good to get out. Uh, it just felt weird to wear a mask the whole, the whole time. Um, and I, I, I'll admit this weekend was my fault. If I, if I got COVID from, from 
the festivities this weekend. It was my fault because I got too cozy. I got too comfortable without a mask. And I just thought, you know, like, ah, when in Rome, no one else is wearing masks. Why should I? And now I regret that because I had been so vigilant with my KN95s. So vigilant. And, but I'm hoping that this is as bad as it's going to get. I don't know. Um, I definitely feel sick. But I don't, but I've, I've felt worse with flus and colds in the past. So, you know, some people get it for days, some people get it for a day or two, you know. I don't know which one I'm going to be, I'm going to find out, um, but um, here's hoping, you know. Um, so far, so good. Uh, all I'm craving is cold foods and broths. Cold foods and broths. It's weird. Fluids. Been drinking tons and tons of fluid tea, uh, a little bit of coffee, lots of water, lots of broth. Um, my body's clearly telling me to flush this out. So, um, yeah, if you're uh, if you're going through it, I feel for you. Uh, this is always on me. A little, uh, little sanitizer, basically just ninety one percent alcohol and a little bit of lavender oil. Yeah. Yeah, Swiss cheese brain, I tell you. All right, I'll check in tomorrow. Bye.